And good morning. Welcome to South Coast Level Crossings. Here we are. In case you can't see, we're at Cheltenham Spa. And um, the time is it's about 16 minutes past uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. And we are off on a train adventure. Yes, we are. We're going to Devon today. Um, but where exactly in Devon? Well, you have to find out. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, Brought my tickets, got my seat reservation, I've also got some plus bus, all with my 16 to 25 rail card. Fantastic. Right then, um, we now have a Great Western Railway service from somewhere <laughs> to Weymouth. I know it's going to Weymouth, but I'm not sure where it's from. Probably Worcester. Here you go, it's 115. It's coming. Two, four, three. There we are, all the way going to Weymouth, and then you've got a cross country service next to it that's going all the way to Stansted Airport. And that is the only direct service from Cheltenham to Stansted Airport and Cambridge and Peterborough uh, in the entire day. So, yes, there it is. And the, uh, the signal's still a bit red, so we have to wait for it until it departs. Righty ho, the uh, dispatch procedure is being performed on 17111, the cross country service to Stansted Airport via Leicester.
Welcome to Peter. Yes, we are here on the Riviera Line. There it is. And uh, we just arrived and we've got a 150 coming in here now. Um, I think probably coming from Exmouth or Barnstable. And yeah, I thought I'd come to Ex uh, Paynton and Torbay today. Um, we've got a 150 246 from uh, Exeter or Exmouth or somewhere. And, um, yep, there you go. Right then. Let's go around Peyton and see what we can see. Right then. Hello there. And as a uh, stagecoach foxhole bus departs, I'm now going to tell you about Mumsy. Okay, so Mumsy is a basically a cross between Pokemon Go and um, geocaching. Okay, so basically you go about and it's an online app, it's an on your phone app, there it is, Munzee, and um, it gives you a map of all the places, we're here at Paynton, and we are here at the, this Munzee here, which is on the back of this sign, so it's a QR code, and you can have a, a scanner on the app, and you oop, scan it, oop, there we go. And that was one of the special ones, that's like a hotel or something. Uh, but you get points, and I don't know what the points go towards, but it's quite interesting to go around and scan all these QR codes. So, um, very good. Hello and welcome to Paynton and I um, hope you're all doing well. So, you know Paynton Level Crossing, situated on one of the main tourist streets in Paynton, Torbay Road. Fortunately, yeah, unfortunately, um, October 2018 there was a large fire here which destroyed my favourite fish and chip shop and fire other properties. Rather sad. There you go. Scoffs. That was it. We've also got soul to soul. Hmm. There we go. This is Torbay Road, and we should get off the road and on the pavement. That'd be a good idea. Ah. Let's go. Let's go forth onto the seafront now. Ah. Well, here we are. Paynton Beach, Paynton Sands. Been here many times before. It's absolutely lovely.
And hello, welcome to Brixham, another one of the seaside towns here in Torbay. Now what you're looking at here is the Golden Hind, which is an English galleon best known for her use in the second circumnavigation of the globe between 1577 and 1580, which was captained by Sir Francis Drake. Originally known as the Pelican, she was renamed by Drake mid-voyage in 1578, in honour of his patron and principal sponsor of the voyage, Sir Christopher Hatton, whose crest was a golden hind, or a female red deer. One of these can be seen here. This ship is permanently moored here, but one full-sized seal sailable reconstruction containing original pieces of the galleon exists in London, on the south bank of the Thames. This ship here is actually the second replica to be moored here, the first being used in the TV series titled Sir Francis Drake. It had been moored here since 1963, but sank in 1987 while being towed to dock. This second replicator was completed and installed a year later, in 1988. So yeah, one of my favourite places in Brixham is here, Fishcombe Cove. A short walk from the town centre, come across this cove here. Lovely. Really do like Brixham. <laughs> Tor Bay is a whole. These steps are quite interesting because in high tide they're completely covered by water and inaccessible. You can see where the seaweed is. Time to put my feet up 